A new forensic tool could help police across the country solve cases dating back years. The hands-on tactic will document evidence left at more than a quarter of crime scenes, but until now, there's been no centralized database to find a match. The CBC's Alison Crawford explains. We actually located a palm print on the inside surface of the door of the vehicle used. It's a key piece of evidence in an unsolved murder. Eleven years ago, Pavo Paul Hentinen was stabbed to death in his Georgetown, Ontario home. Someone left his or her mark, but so far, no match. Palm prints are every bit as identifiable as a fingerprint. The only thing that's been holding us back in the past for making them as useful is we've never had a palm print database to compare palm prints to. That's about to change. These are potential match markers. Now, Next month, the RCMP print. will expand its national fingerprint database to include palm prints, which are found at up to a quarter of all crime scenes. The red are the uh, matching minutia, the yellow are considered um, neutral or non-match. Okay. Fingerprint analysts say palms contain just as much unique information as fingertips. Criminals leave impressions of their palms on weapons, doorknobs, ledges and windows. And I find them uh, very often at break and enters what we call the writer's palm when people actually are looking inside the residence to see if anybody is home. We're going to place the upper palm. 26 police services across Canada will soon be able to upload palm prints to the database and they won't all be fresh. The RCMP alone will be processing thousands of prints from cold cases across the country. The attention on it. It's not just police who have high hopes for the new database. Mr. Cowan had been shot and he was on the floor right in front of the cache. In September 1976, Tim Nadeau was 15 and working at Cowan's Dairy Bar in Smith Falls, Ontario, when an armed robber shot and killed his boss and friend, Lawrence Cowan. Police never caught the killer. All they've got is a bloody palm print left on a door frame. I want to know who did it. Uh, I don't care if they're dead or in jail or, or you know, hopefully they're still alive because we would like to see justice done. Uh, we, uh, that's what I want. Uh, I don't want anything else but to know and, and to give the family and to some extent myself some peace of mind. When the RCMP launched its real-time criminal fingerprint database in 2009, police made breaks in a number of cold cases. Police say their hopes are just as high for palm prints. Alison Crawford, CBC News, Ottawa. England and Wales have had a searchable handprint database since 2006. In its first two weeks of use, police matched more than 500 prints to crime scenes. The FBI plans to launch a national palm print system in the United States next month.